Happy Vlogmas Day 18. You guys are in for a treat tonight because it is the ZK Food Tables Pajama Party. So, if you've ever wondered what it's like to be in a Zoom meeting with four introverts, hang on to your hats because I think you're about to find out. <music> Hi. <laughs> Welcome to the Serenity Podcast. If you don't like me, why are you watching my vlog? Mess? <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Just because I put my fries in my frosty. <laughs> so I think this will be our day 18 vlog. Because today's the 17th. This is going to go up tomorrow? I get another day off? I think so. Woohoo! I've been slacking. Hey. <laughs> I've been slacking because in my real life I've been working really hard. But tonight you rest and we have a pajama party. Yes. 99% <laughs> of the pandemic has really sucked. But it has been really good that we've had Zoom and we could get together once a month. I have enjoyed that, even though I really miss that we got to see, we didn't get to see each other in June. Mm -hmm. That was sad. So this is what happens when four introverts decide <laughs> to Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of silence, a lot of pauses. My camera's gonna shake because I've been on an upside down, um, Laundry basket. <laughs> so I don't want you looking at my nose. <laughs> it's not awkward silence though. It's just crafty silence. That's true. It's contented silence. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought we would, um, we'd start by explaining how we met, but we have mentioned this already on another podcast episode. We were at ZK and we we're in the ballroom. And I walked in and I looked first at the table near the door because that's what introverts do. And I saw there was a friendly face there because I recognized Beth from her first podcast. <laughs> so I sat down there and she was with Carrie, her sister, and Brenda, who um, I had just recently asked, why did you choose that table? And what did you say, Brenda? Because it was the first one by the door with an open chair. <laughs> And honestly, I think what? Carrie and I chose that table because it was empty. I think so. <laughs> we too scared to sit with other people. Mm -hmm. That's all right. We sat with you. Yeah. And, um, and I was going to say Net Psycho Amanda, but she doesn't go by Net Psycho anymore. But she was there too. And she was also a friendly face from her podcast. And somehow I always feel like I know podcasters in real, real life, even when I don't. That makes sense, though. You know a lot about them. The first time I met Amy from Stalking at Zombies was at the SSK retreat in Nashville. And I asked her if she'd hold my purse. <laughs> <laughs> because I knew her and I knew she wouldn't take my purse. So I said, Hi. You hold my purse and I walked away and then I came back and I was mortified. I was like, you don't know me, but I know you and I trusted you to hold my bag. Aww. Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> so what are we working on, ladies? I'll go first. <laughs> sure, that, was, miss. <laughs> that was an awkward silence. <laughs> um, I'm working on my crochet blanket again. I had big hopes and dreams of knitting, or I mean crocheting on this every day, but my wrist still hurts. Like, 
a lot of the time. And I just, you know, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to stop knitting and crocheting. So that doesn't help. So I've been taking really big breaks, like a week at a time. So I'm only on day one, two, three, four, day five. I don't remember what day it was, but that is the, um, Ronan's baby sweater color. Yes. <laughs> From three it. Irish girls. That's not what they named it, but they should have. <laughs> <laughs> Ronan is an Irish name. There you go. I'm almost out of projects this year because I always try to knit to zero before New Year's Eve. And I finished up my last pair of Christmas socks. Um, an ornament for Rena. And now I'm down to my, my advent blanket that I showed on the Scrappy Sunday episode. I broke my needle in half today, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that tomorrow. But I'm down to that project and my northeasterly blanket and my advent cow, which I'm doing a pretty decent job of keeping up on. I think this, I think this is the 17th color up here. This was from our ZK mini swap. Oh, cool. Yeah. A couple of them are from that. But yeah, I'm getting there. My friend George Crazy Cow. And then hopefully, not, and hope in the near future, I'll be able to unpick that um, provisional cast on and kitchen it up. I think it's going to be a good size. Who's next? I'll go ahead. I'll go. Uh, okay. so after oh, you okay. no, after, this could take all night <laughs> I am working on a hitchhiker can you guys see it I feel like I'm so washed yeah. out and I'm on my phone so I have no idea what you guys can and can't see you see um cool for my friend for Christmas and uh he already knows he's getting it because it probably won't be done by Christmas so I just put this in a bag, all this. I'm like, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> That's what he opened. He's like, okay. okay. I've good. been gifted one of those. You have. That's why I thought, I've done this before. It's fine. Now, are you going to take it to 42 points or until you run out of yarn? Uh, until I run out of yarn because it's a magic ball. Um, cool. And <laughs> I started this before Halloween and I picked it because I thought, this looks like Slytherin colors, and I could see him being a Slytherin for sure. Um, and then for Halloween, we could dress up for work, and one of the girls dressed up as Hermione, and he said something about being a Slytherin. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I already started this. So that's what I'm working on. <laughs> I'm working on my boxy. Very exciting, but there it is. So this suburban stitcher yarn. It's gonna be so pretty. Sea smoke is the color. The boxy it. is a slog, but it is so worth it. I've never seen a boxy that wasn't gorgeous. It's the best mindless knitting ever. Round and around. So Carrie is our new podcast expert. She's gonna, she knows all the trivia from every episode. <laughs> and she binged it. I did. <laughs> so now, now I have to stop talking about her. Yep. I was going to say, you won't be able to sass me anymore about not watching. We'll sass we'll you about other sass stuff. You for other reasons. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she already got sassed in Vlogmas Day 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did I sass you? What did I do? I don't remember. What? <laughs> I jokingly said in our group text, like, how dare you say it? you were like, oh, I'm, I realized how much me and my sister are like, and it, I love it, but it drives me crazy or something like that. And then Just I sassed you like, I want to be special. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to be special. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then I asked you because I thought, like, how dare you? You should be honored because I'm 
awesome. <laughs> oh. You are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had started timing how long we had been recording. I don't know if this is a good length or not. That's a really good note to go out on. You are awesome. <laughs> and you're awesome too. <laughs> we're all awesome. Unless you're that one person who gave us a thumbs down. And you're not awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so Michael watches a lot of podcasts from Australia. And um, no, no, no. They're British podcasts. And he said they always will make fun of people who give them a thumbs down and say they're Australian thumbs up. And he's like, that's what you should say on your podcast. And so I think we have one viewer from Australia. <laughs> and I'm not going to say she's the person giving us a thumbs down. That's really rude. <laughs> and then she'll give us a, is it another hemisphere thumbs up? And then, I don't know, thumbs down. I don't know what that would be. It's so confusing. I don't think it's cultural. I think somebody's just mean. <laughs> oh. But hey, I get it. If you are in Zoom meetings all day, this might not be the format for you. So you, you can turn it off and, and go away. It's fine. We understand. You don't have to leave any kind of comment about it. It's good. Any messages for our, um, our ZK friends that we didn't get to see this year before I hit the stop record button? June is soon. June is soon. Oh, I hope it's not too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's still a thing. And we miss you all. And we love it when you comment and we know that you're still there. Oh. And we really do put all the food in the middle of the table to lure people in. <laughs> we do. Absolutely. So we're too shy and awkward to go out. Except for Tracy. The rest of well. well Maybe I'm just I'll go people. see some people I know. I don't go out looking for new people. <laughs> I'll see someone that I know from another retreat at a different table. Or um, for a couple of years, some of my North Carolina friends were at ZK, but I sat with the Minnesota group. <laughs> because I only see them once a year. And I see the North Carolina people. Well, I used to see them a lot more often. But it's been, a, it's been quite a while. So, yeah, I'll go out to see them. But otherwise, you know, we have... We have pretzels laced with MSG to lure you to our <laughs> table. <laughs> what makes them so good? It's the MSG. <laughs> you think we're joking, but we're not. That's right. Ask Shana, she'll tell you. Doing that and the, the peanut butter M&Ms. And the tri all the Trader Joe's goodies. The cookie butter. <laughs> That's there just to make you talk to us because we're not going to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to. <laughs> <laughs> We're just scared you'll reject us. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I'm going to stop recording. So we'll see you soon. Take a good look at Beth because it's been a long time since you've seen her. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Tell Michael, I'm okay. Hey, don't worry, he'll cut that out. <laughs> that was mean. You can't say that to me. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>